What's going on, everyone? Thanks for another episode of the Red and Gold Standard Podcast. My name is Zach Hernandez, and I'm joined by Brandon, Dion, Perry. What a hell of a win, guys. 13 to 10. The 49ers did the entire round of applause. Round of applause. Man, that was about as ugly of a win I think the 49ers could grind out. Dion, I'm going to start with you. Surely I was the only one about to have a heart attack for most of that game. How, how you feeling after that? Oh, don't worry. You weren't. Because I, I swear to, like, okay, so I'm, I'm going to lay this out for y'all real quickly. So typically I go to the bar and watch the games because I'm insane. And my wife usually will kick me out the house. It's different. <laughs> Today, had a barbecue over at, at my brother-in-law's, so I wasn't finna miss the food, damn it. The food was amazing. All sprouts, by the way. Hey, you got to get your barbecue food, get it from sprouts. So I'm in there, man, and I'm containing my my usual 49er craziness. But I'm sitting there the whole time like, we, we about to lose this damn game because the offense can't do shit. Damn defense is doing their job. Jimmy, you not doing that. What are we doing? And sure enough, in the blistering cold, because it would boy, it starts snowing. We pull off the W, man. I, I I can't believe it, right? I'm I'm still in awe. I'm still in a very, very big awe. I I, I don't I don't I really don't know. I'm I'm speechless, but yes, the heart attack was about to happen. Man, it was like insane because obviously, like I said, they're playing really ugly. They start off the game with like what three or four three and outs. Um, and then they finally get that drive to get going, and it's like first and goal, and then they had the penalty, they're backed up, and then Jimmy throws that interception, and it's like, ah. But I'm thinking, maybe that's the one Jimmy throw. Maybe that's the one. He got it out of his system. It's still early. It's still a one-possession game. Man, Perry, how you feeling? I told y'all, I don't cry over sports games. Like, I, I can close for the Super Bowl, right? Because, like, at the end of the day, it's sports. You know, it's not like, you know what I mean? It's sports, right? You don't think about it. But I was crying. I was actually crying at the end of this game, and I could not believe it. Words just can't express how how amazing this victory just feels. And it's like, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, I don't give a fuck if we lose next week. The fact that we just went into Lambo made Lambo our home after beating Dallas – this is a, you know, this is a turn back clock to the nineties. You guys, I mean, this, if this is what it feels like, then Holy shit. But wow. It was just, it was a roller coaster of emotions. I mean, D'Amico Ryan's earned his paycheck. He did. I cannot believe the game he called. It was just miraculous. And then Richard Hightower, that dude single-handedly helped us score 13 points, 13 special teams points. What two Robbie field goals and uh, the mm -hmm. touchdown or whatever it may be like, God guys, what the, Yo, what the fuck? I can't believe that just happened, you know? So with that being said, it's, you know, like Zach, like you said, after the interceptions, like, okay, he got that out of the way early. You know, this is good. And then he just wasn't hitting throws. The offensive line wasn't blocking. Elijah Mitchell was having a hard time running. Debo Samuel couldn't get too many yards until the fourth quarter. It was like, oh, my God, the world is coming to an end. And the next thing you know, fourth quarter drive, give the ball to Debo, third and seven. What do you do? Give that man a draw play, drive it in for a first down, get a couple extra yards, Robbie Gold field goal to win the game. It was miraculous to say the least. And, I mean, I, I'm just at a loss for words. I don't know what to say. It was a beautiful win. It feels really good. You know, the uncertainty with the team, it's been all off season. You have the Jimmy Garoppolo storylines. You've got Trey Lance waiting in the wings. All the criticism we've given Shanahan and D'Amico and Richard Hightower and everyone far and few between. And to come out with this – these guys are relentless, man. That's more than what I can say. I said it last week, too. There's a reason why everyone said you don't want to face the Niners in the playoffs because they can go and win ugly games. Today was an ugly game for both teams. The Niners even more so. But they pulled it out, baby. They pulled it out and got the W. I can't believe it. Holy God. Yeah. Um, comments are saying, you know, like the Niners need to get it done because they're likely going to lose D'Amico Ryans. I really hope not. But, man, could this – I mean, all he had to put on resume is a film of this game. I, I said it in the chat. There was 11:27 left in the fourth quarter. The 49ers had three points, and they were in this game. We all, all of us, had no doubt in our mind they could probably still win this thing if they just had a nice drive. And they did. They really did. It's insane to think. How do you break down this win? Um, it was the uh, 2000 uh, Ravens carrying Trent Dilfer. 
that's what that was. I like that. I like that. Like we're it's gonna hard get to disagree with that. In the same dude, this defense is unfucking real. We lose Embry Thomas, and DJ comes out and plays pretty damn well after the first. So, I don't know. I. I'm surprised. I just can't believe how well that defense played against against Rodgers. But like I said, it's the playoffs, and Aaron Rodgers is our motherfucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, so Aaron Rodgers is now 0-4 versus the 49ers in the playoffs. And, and maybe I'm alone here, but I constantly ask myself, why don't these quarterbacks just throw it deep every single play? Like the 49ers, more often than not, probably ringing. give it up. So it really is. I don't understand I don't why they don't just – Test him. You know, if they just tested him, we saw what happened that first drive. He completely just marched the ball down the field. It was a perfect, I believe, split of pass and runs. But they got the job done, and I'm thinking, shit, it's about to be a long day. Mm -hmm. But D'Amico Ryans, who people say doesn't change, doesn't adjust, instantly made adjustments and got the job done for the defense. Um, special teams, I, I don't know if it was Dion or Perry who said special teams, but, man, you couldn't – we couldn't have lucked out by facing a worse special teams team than the Green Bay Packers. I think I saw the 49ers were ranked 26 and the Packers were ranked 32nd. So, by a miracle, they took care of business. And Tyler Noah Hufanga, the rookie of all people, got the damn job done. 